In today's video, I will try to fix this iPhone 11, which is totally dead. It's not turning on, not charging, and I will show you how I'm gonna do it. Let's get started. After I disassembled the LCD, I see the phone is not uh, repaired before. Nobody has touched anything here. Everything is in a very good condition. And uh, that's very good because the chance to fix a phone which is not touched from other technician before me, it's uh, the success rate will be very high. So I tried to plug the charger to the phone to check if the phone is charging or no, it's drawing amps from the charger or no, or it doesn't, it does not. I will connect the PCP or the board or the phone to the power supply Maybe the battery is dead, maybe the charging circuit has a problem. I will connect it to the power supply to see the amps drawed by the phone so I can get an idea why this phone is not turning on. Once I connected the power supply to the PCP, I can see on my power supply that the phone is drawing five amps, which is too much. The phone should not draw any amps before I press the power button. And what happens here telling me that this phone has a short in the main power rail. Of course, the five amps will generate a lot of heat so I will disassemble the board and check where is the component which is getting hot this PCP has two layers there is components uh, in the upper layer here which I can see and there is another component down there I cannot see right now I don't know where the faulty component is so I'm gonna use my thermal camera to see where is the part, which part of the board is getting uh, the most of the heat. I use Seek Pro thermal camera, which you can connect to your iPhone or your Android phone. Uh, and this uh, camera, I attached to it a macro lens. This helped me to increase the resolution of the camera. You will find in this website my free tool guide. People asking me most of the time which hot air you recommend, which uh, thermal camera you recommend. I put all the links to buy those uh, tools from Amazon and AliExpress in this website. So now I will connect the power supply again and now turn on the power supply and I can see the uh, cable of the power supply is the one getting hot I can't see any component on the surface other than the cable itself is getting hot that's mean I have to separate the two boards but before I start to separate the two layers I just remember that I have a device called short killer this device should kill the short if it's from a capacitor. If the short is from a chip or a wire or a rust or liquid damage, it cannot uh, cut the short. I will connect the ground lead of the short killer to any ground uh, in the PCP and I will inject 1.5 voltages into the battery line, the positive of the battery line. it's unable to cut the short. I will increase the voltage to four volt. Let's try again. The short is gone. Let's connect it to the power supply again. Now there is a leak, not a short. Before the phone was drawing five amps from the power supply. Now it's drawing 200 milliamps. That means the capacitor who is creating the short at the beginning is not completely cut. I have to look now for this capacitor and remove it. I hope it's in the upper side on the surface of the board. Otherwise, I will remove the, board, the, the two boards and look for that cap. So that cap will look like burned cap right now. I have to remove all this uh, material, the waterproofing material, to look for that cap. It will be very hard with this uh, underfill, but wish me luck. I cannot see it. Maybe it's under there. Maybe it's under there. 
Maybe in the sec it's in the second layer of the board. Maybe it's in the back side of this layer. Oh my god. In the perfect world, the short will be gone completely, but I know my luck. So I will use the thermal camera again and I hope the faulty component will be on the surface. Let's connect the power supply and turn off the power supply. Then turn on the thermal camera. Then turn on the power supply. I see this part is getting hot. Let's zoom. Let's turn off the power supply. Turn it on again. The leak is gone. The leak is gone. <laughs> the leak is gone by itself. I swear. Here's the board is connected to the power supply and here is the power supply. And like this it's off, like this it's on. Before it was consuming 200 milliamps, now <laughs> The short is gone by itself. I guess I'm lucky. The capacitor is like two plates with insulation in between. If the insulation uh, got damaged, the two plates will be attached to each other, creating a short. And when we uh, use the short killer or the power supply, but the short killer is pushing too much amps, more than the power supply. So when we use the short killer, it pushes too much current and this current create heat and this heat make like the wire attaching the two plates together cut. So when I apply the four voltages, those four voltages goes into the line with high current and this high current almost cut the connection between the two plates of the capacitor. Then there is a little connection between the two plates which is creating the leak. I was lucky that since I kept the phone on the power supply for just like one minute or two minutes while I'm trying to figure out where is the uh, shorted component to remove it. By luck the connection between the two plates got cut and the short and the leak is gone. So let's turn on the phone and see what will happen. And the phone is turning on. Let's connect the display. And voila, it's turning on. I can see the Apple logo. Ho, 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 ho. Easy money. That was an easy one, very easy one. Once you have the tools and the knowledge, you can enjoy getting easy money and call it a job. Not every time it's easy like that, but I guess I was lucky today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. My work here is done. I'll see you next time.